Hydroquinone is very effective in lightening the skin. However, as with any product or medication, you have to be aware of potential side effects. Hello everyone, welcome back to Fundamentals with Dr. Adobe Obasi. I'm a physician scientist, board certified in dermatology and dermatopathology. In this video, I want to delve into bleaching creams. In previous videos, we had discussed how the sun can worsen brown spots on the skin by going into a little bit of photobiology, which is understanding light and then the skin structure and finally discussing three common conditions of brown patches or spots on the skin. Specifically, we discussed melasma, solar lentigos, as well as post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that happens after things inflame the skin, such as acne, psoriasis, eczema, burns, trauma to the skin. Please subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell, as well as the like button, and leave a comment below. So bleaching creams, including those that are by prescription as well as over the counter, usually are used in combination with other ingredients that increase how well they enter the skin as well as decrease irritation of the skin. The mainstay or the gold standard in skin bleaching is called hydroquinone. Hydroquinone is a chemical that has been present for a long time and it works by stopping the enzyme in the melanocytes, which are the pigment-making cells, stopping the enzyme tyrosinase from making melanin. I'm going to go into hydroquinone in just a moment, but there are other bleaching agents on the market that can also act in brightening the skin, including kojic acid, niacinamide, which is a type of vitamin, azelaic acid, ferulic acid, and arbutin. Bleaching creams are usually used in combination with ingredients that increase how well they enter the skin, such as vitamin A derivatives like tretinoin or retinoid, alpha hydroxy acid, salicylic acid, as well as ingredients that decrease irritation or inflammation of the skin, such as caffeine, green tea, resveratrol, and different botanicals, such as soy, to calm the skin down so that the skin doesn't get irritated because irritated can increase the pigment production in the skin. In addition to bleaching creams, lasers as well as chemical peels are also used to help brighten the skin and decrease hyperpigmentation or brown patches. Comment below if you've ever used bleaching creams, had chemical peels done or had lasers done to improve brown patches on your skin. The most common bleaching agent is called hydroquinone. Hydroquinone is a chemical that has been present for a very long time, and it works by decreasing tyrosinase, which is an enzyme in the melanocytes, the pigment-making cells that make melanin. Hydroquinone is used in different doses, ranging from the over-the-counter 2% that is common in a lot of the bleaching creams you can get over-the-counter, up to hydroquinone 12% or even beyond. Hydroquinone 4% and above are usually um, obtained by a prescription from a doctor. Hydroquinone is very effective in lightening the skin. However, as with any product or medication, you have to be aware of potential side effects. Hydroquinone can be irritating, but the more concerning side effect to dermatologists is the fact that with prolonged use of hydroquinone, especially at higher doses, it can result in a permanent discoloration of the skin called ochrinosis. Ochrinosis or exogenous, meaning from an outside source, ochrinosis from hydroquinone, occurs when hydroquinone is used nonstop for a period of time, usually from months to years, without taking a little bit of a break in between, and 
result in a permanent blue-black discoloration on the affected area, usually on the face. Okinosis is very tough to treat, and so we try our best in dermatology to avoid it. Hydroquinone is best used with the care of a dermatologist to minimize your risk of developing this permanent disfiguring condition called ochronosis. I have in my experience treated patients with ochronosis. It is very difficult to treat. It requires a lot of different treatments coming together to try to improve the stain left on the skin, but it's very tough to treat. Therefore, it's best to use these products with caution because each of them have potential risk of side effects. The patient that I treated with ochronosis required a biopsy for diagnosis and was actually a gentleman that had used over-the-counter hydroquinone for many months, about two years nonstop, to try to lighten his skin. And I've seen it in other um, cases as well. Many over-the-counter products do have combinations of 2% hydroquinone or some of the other skin brightening agents that I mentioned in different formulations and they're relatively safe. However, it's important to be aware of the cream or the base that they're made in, making sure that they don't have a lot of preservatives which can irritate the skin and that you find a formulation that works for you in terms of the balance between the bleaching cream as well as the ingredient to increase how well it enters into the skin and the component to decrease in irritation of the skin, making sure that you're not allergic to any of the ingredients. There are some bleaching creams that contain high dose or high potency topical steroids. Yes, steroids can lighten the skin temporarily. As you can see when sometimes you have injection steroids into a joint and you have a white patch overlying that, or when you use a steroid ointment to treat a rash and then it leaves the area looking a little bit lighter. The steroids can lighten the skin temporarily. Ultrapotent topical steroids can lighten the skin. However, there is a side effect that it can induce skin atrophy, which is thinning of the skin. And on the face, steroid induced acne or rosacea, which are side effects that are usually unwanted in patients trying to lighten their skin and even their skin tone. Ideally, it's best to see a dermatologist to evaluate your brown patches or brown spots, making sure that they're not in the cancerous arm of things, because as I mentioned in the previous video, a cancerous brown spot such as melanoma or lenticular maligna should not be treated or bleached because it does not eliminate the cancerous cells or the abnormal cells that can now move forward and progress in their malignancy and cause more damage to the body, potentially fatal. Using bleaching creams to lighten either brown patches of the face or to make your complexion a little bit more fair should be done with caution because bleaching creams can have side effects as I just mentioned with ochronosis from hydroquinone steroid induced acne from high dose topical steroids or high potency topical steroids. But also you can end up over lightening the area that you're treating such as the face and then comparing the skin of your face to your neck or the, your face to your hands, there'll be a very noticeable difference that may not be desirable. There are specific situations where a very potent form of hydroquinone is used which is in patients that have extensive vitiligo. Vitiligo is a disorder where the immune system fights up the melanocytes, so the pigment-making cells in the skin, and destroys them. So patients are left with patches that have absolutely no pigment called depigmented patches, which look white. It can occur on different parts of the body, including obvious areas like the face, the hands, but also hidden areas like the external genital region. We know famous actors and musicians that have had extensive vitiligo and have undergone depigmentation protocols. The ingredient used in depigmentation protocols most commonly is called MBEH, which is monobenzone ether of hydroquinone. So it's a form of hydroquinone or a derivative of hydroquinone that causes death to the melanocytes. So it kills off the melanocytes or the pigment making cells. So the depigmentation there is permanent. It leaves a white patch. So patients use it to 
even out their skin tone where the vitiligo patches have become more um, of a percentage of their body than their normal skin tone. That should definitely be done under the care of a dermatologist as with other bleaching agents, make sure that you get a desired effect and you don't have a higher risk of side effects. Therefore, using bleaching creams can be effective in improving hyperpigmentation on the skin, but it should be done with caution knowing that these creams do come with potential permanent side effects. Please subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell as well as the like button and leave a comment below on this topic or any other future topics you want me to discuss. You're all fundamentally awesome. I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.